So, two two years ago, a two-time Olympic gold medal winner had to make one of the most difficult decisions in her life, whether she should turn professional or whether she should continue on her Olympic trails and go for a third gold. And this young woman showed the courage. This young woman showed the courage to say, I'm a game changer. I want to do what no woman's ever done in history. And I'm not afraid of anything. She turned professional. She won championships in two weight divisions. She had five belts before tonight. I can't even count them. We tell her she's got a jewelry store now. But you saw tonight a performance for the ages. Very seldom on the biggest stages do, the, do you see the kind of performance that Clarissa Shields showed you tonight. And it's very, very special. And uh, it's something, this is a night in history. It's history, it's her story. Clarissa Shields did it, she dreamed it, she willed it, and she brought it to the table. And we're so proud of her. And the best thing about it is how proud we are of her. We know how good she feels because this was her dream and she set out to become undisputed and do it faster than anybody in the history of the sport. And she's just beginning on her journey. So I introduce to you the six belt champion, the undisputed champion, the second undisputed champion in the history of women's boxing, the sixth undisputed champion in the history of the sport, the one, the only, already doing legendary things, Clarissa Shields. Well, I, I just say, you know, like I said, uh, all thanks to God. God, you know, gave me the strength to do training camp and to push myself the way he did. You know, God gave me the strength to have the belief in myself, even though everything around me, everybody around me was, you know, telling me different, especially when I first started boxing. But now just to be, you know, where I am now, you know, sometimes it's hard to stick to being a person that you know you are and that you know is right and you try to please everybody, you know, to get the endorsements and the sponsorships. And now I'm finally just happy with what God has given me and anything I don't have, I don't want it. And I know that everything I have that I've earned, I've earned all these titles. I've earned the claim to be the greatest woman of all time. I earned to be undisputed, you know, and I earned to be respected. And I raised the bar for, for women's boxing, me, me and Christina Hammerin. You know, I'm just, I'm just happy. I, I know it wasn't a doubt in my mind that I couldn't beat Christina Hammerin. I don't know what y'all saw. Because, I mean, I was reading some stuff, and I mean, Christina Hammerin was a monster. You know, she said she's going to play with me and knock me out, and a lot of people agreed with her. Now that the time has come, and now the time has passed, and I'm the undisputed champion of the world at nine fights. Hey. Some some writers, hey. some writers need to go ahead and make the make their big old little papers and put on the front of the page. Shields nails the hammer because I nailed her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard her. I thought I knocked her out. Can we get three minutes and twelve rounds now? I think I proved that we can. We could definitely do ten two minutes. But for in order for women to get knockouts, in order for us to get equal pay, we need three minutes, twelve rounds. And that will bring the knockouts. But, I mean, uh, I guess I'll open it up for questions. But uh, I'll say it again. I am the greatest one of all time. The quote, one and only, can't none of them girls beat me. And i say it again and again and again. And everybody going to be mad. But guess what? Can't none of them girls beat me. 24 and 0. 11 knockouts. 24 and 1 now. Come on. Next. All right. Questions. Yeah, questions. Go ahead. Uh, who's next? Uh, I would, I would love to fight Cecilia Brockes at 154. She's the only other undisputed champion. I think that would be a pay-per-view fight for women's boxing. And I'm willing to sacrifice a bit more to go down to 154. It's a push. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm naturally a 168-pounder. But I came down to 160, and I do that comfortably. And with my nutrition team, they told me I can make 154. So, I believe that I could do it, and I'm willing to face Cecilia Brockes. You know, she's another big champion, 38-0, and 
nine knockouts, undefeated, undisputed. And I believe that me and her fighting would be the best women's fight ever.